everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to put together the 5x7 wiper card. We're going to make this one today because I want to show you how to create this fun background using the embossing folder. So this one here is using the fabulous flight stamps and when you pull it you have the two hot air balloons that poke out the top or pop out the top. I think it's really fun. So I've got this one which is using the funky flowers stamp set. Sometimes you just have to stop and smell the flowers and then when you pull it you have have a blooming marvellous birthday. And then this one here is using the amazing animals. It's your special day, you're not that old. <laughs> Another really fun one. So that's using the three different stamp sets. Like I said today we're going to use this one with the hot air balloon. You've got some great um, sentiments there. That's the funky flowers. So you can see these ones that I used to create this along with the sprig there and then this was the sentiment and then the have a blooming birthday and then that was the one there with the giraffe, you've got the baseball cap and the you're not that old again that's all from that one so each stamp set is used on each of those cards so all the pieces are from that one and then again from that one there and the embossing folder is this one here the clouds which I'm going to show you you can create some really nice effects with it and that is the five by seven rectangular wiper card die set and you can see there it's your special day and the two size speech bubbles and that's the mechanism you've got your mats and layers on there as well so let me show you how to make these cards so you get this large die here and you want to die cut that twice so it gives you your front and back of your card then I've also gone and used the matte layer and you'll see how it fits perfectly on the front there and I've used my favourite holographic cardstock and this one will just stick in the middle there and then I've also gone ahead and die cut four pieces using the side matte dies there as well. Okay, now we are going to be adding a layer and that's going to be the embossing folder which I'll be showing you in a moment. Now because I'm using the fabulous flight dies um, they work really well when you use acetate for the wiper mechanism. So I have die cut this, you do need to add some extra shims and you want a nice strong die machine just so you get that cut and if you do have a few pieces that are you know, still attached just snip them with your scissors but it is worth using the acetate for this one. So this is a nice strong piece and I've just die cut that once there with the mechanism die. So first of all we just want to start popping it together so I'm just going to fold and burnish my score lines. So you want to fold one so it's a mountain and then one so it's a valley so you've got that Z fold. Okay so you'll have two like this, you just want to flip one over and pop it on the top and you will have something like that but we're going to have it so it opens that way. Okay so I would suggest decorating the front first of all it's just a little bit easier so I'm going to add my glue to the back of this piece here and just stick that one and you'll have that nice quarter inch border and then I've done four because I want to do two here and then two on the back and also you know use that matte layer to cut another piece maybe of pattern paper and you might add, want to add another layer and then you've got that space on the back there to be able to stamp and write your message so I'm just going to stick these down here Okay, so there's the back of that one and then this one here and you can see how that's all going to stick together. Now before we attach the mechanism and everything, I just want to show you the embossing folder. So there's four folders in the collection and I'm using the cloud one here. Again, you can see I love the holographic cardstock. A little bit too much I think, but I'm going to be using this one here. So I have already been doing some of this off camera, but basically what I'm going to show you is how you can get a really nice blue sky background with the white clouds. So you'll see here, mine's already got some blue ink on there but I'm going to reapply all of that in a moment. So I've got a piece of 5x7 cardstock here and I find just best to use a grab one here. I've just got one of these little pockets that you can put your cards in and I'm just using some ink and I'm just going to cover the ink. Now there's quite a few different ways that you can do this kind of technique but I find this one works really really well and I get great results. Now it doesn't really matter how you apply the ink to this piece here. Let me just move away from the glare there of the um, my lamp but I'm just kind of popping it and you can reapply as well um, some people like to use a brayer but I really do like the effect especially for creating that sky it gives you some really nice kind of like markings and stuff so just cover that like so 
Now you want to work on the debossed side, so you'll see this side here is raised, we don't want to work on that side, this side here everything's on the deboss, and this is the front, so it's where we've got the colour there in the clouds. So I'm going to flip it this way because it's easier for me to work, and I'm just going to pop this on here and it will kind of stick to the plastic and it will go quite taut and what you want to do with your finger is just go around all of the, well in this case it's the sky, so you don't really want to, try not to push onto the clouds because you don't want to get any ink in that section but if you do I'll just show you how you can very quickly just kind of wipe it away. I'm just going all the way around there and like I said you can reapply so I'm going to take it off I think I want to go in just so I've got a bit more of a you know that I just want it to be nice nice and blue so I'm just going to give it a second layer I think I'm happy with that one so again I can just peel that off pop that safely to one side and then you just want to check that you haven't got any of the colour in the clouds and I think I caught yeah just a little bit here so I've just got a little bit of tissue and I'm just going to just take out if I can see any colour but I think we're good to go there that looks pretty good so I've got this piece here which I'm going to sit on this side and then I'm going to kind of hold it there and just kind of start from that way and just kind of push it up like so now I'm just going to run that through my dye machine Okay, and now we have the fun reveal. So you just want to lift this up, and there you have, if I bring it up, a really cool effect. And it's a great way to, you know, for you to be able to, in this case, see the clouds, see that lovely white fluffy cloud, and then you've got all that texture on the sky. And once we load our stamped images on top of it and stuff, it's going to look really fab. So I do want to now cut this one down. I'd already gone and done one off camera for the side pieces, so you would want to do two if you want to continue that kind of cloud effect onto these side pieces here. I do think it adds to it, I think it looks quite nice. So I've just cut those there. Now these pieces are one by four and a half. Okay, so I've got the four, so I've got them for the back as well. And then this piece, you just want to trim to four and a half by six and a half. Okay, so now I've got that piece and that's going to stick onto the front of the card there. Now, because I'm sticking onto mirrored card, I would suggest using a double-sided tape, your red liner tape, something like that, just that, you know, it's will adhere much, much better to that um, smooth surface. So I'm just going to pop my tape on the backs of all of these and stick them all down. Okay, so now you can see how cool does that look. Really, really nice, especially with that lovely holographic frame there and there's the back. So before we stick it down, there's there are a few ways, and I will show those in the videos that you'll see today, of putting the mechanism inside the card. So some, you know, may prefer putting the mechanism in once you've stuck that down, which I show you. You know, you may prefer to stick it down when it's still in two parts. So what I'm doing is I'm adding some red tape just over the triangle. And you want to do it so that the triangle's in the bottom left hand corner. Okay. So I'm just covering that. It's easy, I just find it quicker. Plus I'm doing the video just to cover it like so. And then you know, make sure you use some uh, older scissors, ones that you don't care for too much although I can clean those up, but you just want to remove that. It's just much quicker that way, unless you've got thicker, you know, if you've got the thicker red tapes, you know, that are like one inch, then you can cover that in one go. But you can see there where I've just kind of covered that section like so. So what we're going to do is this is going to attach inside here onto this second panel. The first panel is going to be stuck to this, but this second panel here. Now we have got markings on the cardstock, and you'll see them, you can just about make them out here and here, and there and they're also on the die when you do cut it but I don't really want you to focus on that because you can have this in it to a degree you can have it anywhere you want it but you do need to check that whatever you put on top is going to fit because once this folds over obviously it's going to be attached it has to fit and that one's going to go there if I flip that back that's the space that you have so whatever you have on the top of this, you don't want it to go past here because it just won't go in, you know, it won't close. But you can trim this down, which is why we've given you such a big plate here. And you can obviously, you know, make it work for if you maybe have something that's a little bit smaller. But I want to put two hot air balloons on this. So, because I want to, what I want to stick on there, I'm going to have this. I'm going to stick it quite far down. So I've got about, let's have a little look, see what this one comes in at. So it's just over an inch from the top. Okay, so I'm going to remove 
my red tape here from the top. Okay, and you're going to lay it in like this, with that sticky part facing up. See there? And again, about an inch from the top for me because of what I'm putting on it. And when you fold this down, it will sit perfectly within that section. And you can just pretend, but you can see there how it, I'm pushing it up with my hands because it hasn't got that piece of card on the back. But you'll see now, so it hides nicely within there and then it will pop up when we open it. Okay, so again, you can see there, you can stick it that way as well if you want to. So if you want to measure that way up, this, there's, there's about three or four different ways that you can stick this mechanism in. But you can see there, okay, it's about halfway down and then that will just fold and fall inside. So hopefully that explains that way for you, but I will show you some other versions throughout the videos today. So next we want to attach the front to the back, so I'm going to add my glue onto this side here. I'm going to stick that one on there. Again, just make sure they line up perfectly. Use a nice strong glue because that will help hold these cards together, keep them nice and straight. So, and then you can just flip it over, you then want to add glue to this panel here and then you can just hold that down and just fold the whole card flat. And just hold that there for a second. Okay, so that's all stuck down and you can just pull it apart and you can see the acetate pop up there. Okay, I'm going to be using the hot air balloons for this one, so I have gone ahead and coloured these ones already. I've used my coloured pencils just done some simple colouring there and I've just got a nice highlight running through them all and then I've also brought in the plane here and the big flag there for the flyby and I'm going to stamp the birthday flyby so let me just grab stamp set here and you've got birthday flyby I'm just going to ink that one up lay that one in the centre there and the plane and the balloon there have all been die cut using the matching dies. Okay so first of all I'm going to lay down these ones and I'm going to use some foam. I'm also going to bring in some of the birds as well. So I like to add two lots of foam for these because it really lifts them off the card. So I'm going to pop one about there and then we'll use this one here. So again, just pop a couple of those on top of each other. And this one can be, let's have it a bit more angled, I think about there. Just cut one of these in half because I don't need it that thick. I'm just going to pop that behind the plane. And then we'll pop the plane about there. Nice and straight. And then the flyby. I might add a little bit of glue onto him. I'm just going to trim this one here. Make sure you clean your hands between inking because I've spotted a tiny little bit of blue here and at the top there. So uh, I'll try and remove that, but uh, it doesn't matter. In fact, you can use your birds to cover that up. So that's what we do. So now I'm going to just tuck it just behind the end of the plane and sit that one there. So that's my sentiment, it looks really, really sweet. And I have this one kind of coming off like that and this one a little bit like that. So that's how it's gonna look when it pops up. So I'm gonna bring in my little bit of red tape that I've got left here and I'm just attaching it just over like the basket of the hot air balloon. So just a little bit there and maybe a little bit more on this one because it's gonna cover a little bit more of the acetate. You can always add a bit mould behind if you want. But this one I'm going to pop just about there. And the good thing about using this is you can reposition it. You can lift this back off the acetate. You've got to pull it a bit but there is that, you know, you have got that time. And then this one I'm going to have maybe about there. And then we hope it all hides when you close it. Okay, and now we have that pop up. You can see there they just tuck in there nicely. All right, and then I'm going to finish it off with my little birds here, which I went and cut earlier. So just a little bit of glue. And like I said, <laughs> if you do get any little markings from your uh, ink like here, so just pop a little bit of glue. We'll have a bird there. Let's do one up the top there just to disguise that area. 
and we'll do one. I always try and work in odd numbers, so I'll put one there, and then we'll do one over this side here. And you could pop a little bit of you know double-sided tape onto one of these and pop them up there with the the um the other hot air balloons as well, and then we'll do one up there. And that's the card finish. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial showing you how to make the 5x7 and you picked up some, you know, some nice little kind of ideas on how to use your embossing folders a little bit more. And again, I'll just show you these ones for some more inspiration. I think they're super fun. And you've got my envelope box that you could use to put these in. I've got the 6x6 and the 5x7. I'll link that up here. So thank you for watching today and I'll be back very soon with another tutorial. Bye.